Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak and this is ProstateVideos.com. A recent article that appeared in the news relates to whether or not men benefit by lowering their risk of prostate cancer from selenium supplements. Selenium is a trace mineral that's necessary for normal body function and the government has established what normal levels we should have in our bloodstream. Across the United States, there are variations in the selenium levels for a variety of reasons, mainly the selenium that's present in the soil where food is grown. But the question that many people have asked is whether or not taking selenium supplements would lower the risk of developing this disease or possibly help men who already have prostate cancer. The best we can say is based on the randomized study that has been conducted, there's no convincing evidence that selenium supplements will lower a man's risk of prostate cancer. There is indirect evidence that suggests that they may be the case. But the authors of the most recent study are not recommending that men go out and start taking selenium supplements to lower their risk. Their recommendation is to do more studies and to also have a healthy diet that contains enough selenium to maintain normal body function. Is there an optimal selenium level? And that's been suggested that if you have a level of at least 135 nanograms per ml, that that might be an appropriate level to achieve. And men who have lower levels could be the ones most likely to benefit. But nevertheless, Based on this most recent study, uh, we can't recommend that men take selenium supplements in order to lower their risk of prostate cancer. That's the best science. And we have to be careful about interpreting studies that are not properly designed in order to make conclusions. Randomized studies are the best way to do that. The largest randomized study to date failed to show a benefit from selenium supplementation although a question has been raised whether the right selenium supplement has been used. You can get selenium from tuna fish, you can get it from codfish, you can get it from certain types of nuts, and you can also get it from certain types of foods and vegetables. So supplementing your diet is the best way to do, making sure you're having a healthy diet, rather than taking supplements at this time. Perhaps we'll have more information in the future, and I hope you find this use useful information. Thank you for watching.